This is an F-14B Tomcat, and I'm going to talk about how the Tomcat became known as the Bombcat. During the Cold War era, the Tomcat was designed as an air superiority fighter and interceptor specifically for fleet defense against Russian long-range bombers, which posed the greatest threat to carrier groups. The Tomcat's state-of-the-art AWG-9 radar allowed it to track up to 24 targets 100 miles away, and its nearly $500,000 a piece AIM-54 Phoenix missiles meant it could take down these targets. While a war between the US and the Soviet Union never materialized, Iranian F-14s using AIM-54s were credited with downing over 50 Iraqi aircraft, including the feared MiG-25, MiG-23s, and Tu-22 medium bombers. Once the Soviet Union collapsed, the need for such a fighter was no longer necessary. There wasn't a pure adversary even close at the time. After Desert Storm, multiple frontline F-14 units were decommissioned due to high costs. Also, at the same time, many aging A6 intruders were being retired due to high maintenance its costs. And with decreasing numbers of carrier-based deep strike aircraft, there was a gap in capabilities. Enter the Bombcat. There were still many Tomcats in service with hours left on their airframes, and with its payload capacity of 14,500 pounds, its speed and radar, the Bombcat could escort itself and perform deep strike missions if necessary. The original basic Bombcat configuration allowed for the use of Mark 82 500 pound, Mark 83 1000 pound, and Mark 84 2000 pound bombs. Later Bombcat configurations allowed for the use of laser-guided GBU series bombs when used in conjunction with FA-18 Hornets painting the targets. This configuration was used successfully during Operation Deliberate Force in September 1995 in Bosnia. By June 1995, F-14B Bombcats were equipped with lantern pots, and these were first used to effect in 1998 in Iraq during Operation Desert Fox. In 2001, during Operation Enduring Freedom, Bombcats were some of the first aircraft used to attack Taliban and Al-Qaeda targets in Afghanistan. Bombcats debuted the 2,000-pound GPS-guided GBU-31 JDAM in Afghanistan in 2002, and this was used extensively in Iraq in the 2003 invasion. Later, Bombcats switched to 500-pound GBU-38 JDAMs, which were safer for close air support. Another late Bombcat configuration were the Rover Lantern Bombcats using GBU-12s and 38s. The Rover systems provided real-time feed to ground troops, allowing them to see through the Bombcat sensors. Finally, in 2006, after 36 years of frontline service, the remaining Tomcats, aka Bombcats, were retired, marking the end of the U.S. Navy's most famous aircraft.